This video will show you how to hand configure your GrandStream device to work with the phone power network. These settings will work for the HT502, the 701, the 801, and the 802. The interface may look a little different, but the settings are the same. Before you can begin, you will need the IP address of the GrandStream device. To get the IP address, dial star 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 zero two on the phone and listen for the IP address. You will then need to open a browser window and put that IP address in the address bar of the browser and hit enter. Now this is the login window for the GrandStream device. If your device is new or has been factory reset, the login information is admin, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. Now we are ready to start configuring the GrandStream device. All you need to do on this page is put in the DNS server and click Apply. On this page, we recommend you use a strong password, upper and lower case and special characters. Now all that is needed is to change allow DHCP option 66 to no and automatic upgrade to yes and click apply. On this page, you will need to add the proxy server sip.phonepower.com. Your SIP user ID and authentication ID will be your phone power number. Authentication password is the SIP password found in your phone power account under your SIP credentials. Now select SRV. Then change register expiration to 3600 and register before expiration to 60. Then click apply and reboot. Now, if all your settings are correct, you will see on the status page registered. You are now ready to make and receive calls.